Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gemma. Um, I am going to be doing my makeup today. I don't really know what this channel is going to involve as such. I'm just kind of doing it randomly. Um, probably makeup stuff, fashion maybe, lifestyle. Um, yeah, so here's my first video and I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone. So, I'm going to be doing my makeup on camera today, just for fun. Um, yeah, so I tried to film this the other day and I filmed it portrait instead of landscape, so it was just a fail, but anyway, I'm just going to refilm it and do a similar look. It's basically just going to be my natural everyday makeup. Um, when I say natural, it's not super natural. I'm still going to wear lashes and stuff, but it's a little bit more neutral, everyday kind of look. And if you want to follow it, you can definitely follow that. So I'm just brushing my brows out. I've got an itch. Um, and I'm using this little mirror, so if you can see it or if I'm looking down, that's a why. Um, I always start my brows first. I don't really know why, I just do. Um, I'm gonna go in with, this is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. It's really good, it comes with a pen on one side and then like a little powder thing, but I just use the pen. What I'm gonna do is just kind of go underneath my brows, basically. Yeah, I don't really put too much on my brows. <clears throat> I feel like my brows look different every day. I always end up doing them too much, too little. But this is just super easy and quick, and I like being easy and quick. Um, and just fill in the outer part. I, I do actually have them microbladed um, by my good friend Emma. And she's amazing. I need to get them retouched up, so that's kind of why I fill them in a little bit. And I'd probably just leave it like that, really, for the brows. Quite simple. Um, to go in <clears throat> with a little bit of brow gel. Sorry if I'm a little bit croaky and coughing. I woke up with a really sore throat today, which is annoying. Um, I'm gonna use the Benefit Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is amazing, by the way. It comes in like a little pot like this. It's the best brow gel I've ever used, and I've used quite a few. Um, it really holds the hairs in place. And then to create a little bit of extra definition and give you a little bit of more shape, I am gonna use a little bit of concealer just underneath the brows just to kind of sculpt them out slightly. <clears throat> Brush I'm using is the Morphe M432. It's just like a flat um, flat brush. So I just get a bit of product on the brush. I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, comes in a little pot, probably a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone just to give a little bit of a highlight effect. And I'm just gonna kind of sculpt out the underneath slightly. You really can skip this step if you want to keep the brows really natural, but I kind of like to have a little bit more um, of a defined brow. I'm going to go in with just a little fluffy brush. I think this is a MAC 212, 221, sorry. Um, it's rubbed off, but I'm pretty sure it is that brush. And I'm just going to blend that concealer out. That's my boyfriend, he's just shutting the door. And I've just noticed that we've got the door open on the balcony and I think it might be a bit noisy and I've just realized that. Um, but hopefully it's not too bad. It's really annoying when that happens. I don't even realize, I've already made one mistake. I'm just blending that out really roughly. I'm not trying to be too like careful. As you can see, I'm kind of slapdash when I do my makeup. Obviously, when I do other people's makeup, I'm a lot more careful, but I just whack it on, really. Yeah, so brows done. Um, again, I don't really like them too crazy. I used to do really, really big to find brows, but now I kind of keep it a little bit more simple. Um, cool, cool, cool. Next, I'm going to go on to skin. So I'm going to start off with foundation. I have already prepped and primed my skin. I just used a moisturizer 
today I didn't bother with primer I'm not really going out anywhere we're just gonna go out for lunch I think so don't need to faff around with that so going to use face and body foundation by Mac it's my favorite foundation it's super lightweight glowy and hydrating on the skin <clears throat> I've just got in one of these little pots Ooh. I just got one of these little pots because I carry it in my makeup bag and I'm not about to bring the big bottle out with me. Um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit on the back of my hand. Yeah, this is a dream foundation. If you like full coverage, you won't like this, but I tend to like a bit more of a natural coverage just because my skin's dry and I find full coverage foundation just ends up looking super dry on my skin. And also I've just realized the sun has gone in, so the lighting may have changed, which is really annoying. <laughs> But you know what, whatever, it's real life in it, so. And I'm just gonna buff that in using a Zoeva brush, the 104 buffer brush. Go, go, go. Lady Papa. I'm using my phone, by the way, so I don't know if the quality is gonna be the best quality of the world, but I mean, it's, it's one of the new iPhones, so I think it'll be all right. First video and if this goes well and people enjoy then i will definitely invest in a camera but right now your girl cannot be affording to buy a really expensive camera <clears throat> i do have a few little baby spots that have shown up today number one i think there's like another one around here it's what they would pop up for the video you know <laughs> Always annoying when you wake up with a little spot. Make sure you get your ears, don't want um, a little white ears poking out. So it's like an around the neck area. I have got a bit of tan, <clears throat> I have got a bit of tan on. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of fake tan on today. So the foundation is probably like a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, but I just want it to match up with the rest of my body. And I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm not putting too much around my eyes. Again, my skin's quite dry. If I put too much product around my eyes, especially with foundation and concealer, it just ends up looking at well coffee. So avoiding that. Just kind of bring it up slightly just so it blends in. Happy with that. <clears throat> Definitely recommend um, trying the face and body foundation because it's great for holidays if you just want that lightweight foundation. Um, and you can use it on your legs, your arms, if you just want to create a really nice airbrushed effect. Um, concealer, gonna go onto that, I'm mainly using it under my eyes. Studio Fix, a 24 hour smooth wear concealer by MAC. Um, it's one of my favorite concealers at the moment. <clears throat> it's got a good coverage, um, quite hydrating. It doesn't crease that much, which I quite like. I mean, I think all concealers crease a little bit, to be honest, if you don't set them properly but it will do. So I'm just gonna be Kim Kardashian for a minute and do this little highlight effect. I know some people think this is really stupid because it's like, why are you using that much concealer? But I like it. I like having a little highlighted under eye. I think it works for me. So that's what I'm gonna do a little bit down the nose. I'm gonna keep this bow, just put that right on my lip, delicious. So Kim K, there you go. I'm gonna use a little bit of I was gonna use a little sponge, but it has gone missing. <laughs> Can't find my sponge. <laughs> I would usually use a little sponge to blend this, but I don't know where it's gone. I'll probably find it in about two minutes after I don't need it anymore. Anyway, apart from that, I'll just use a 224 by MAC to blend this out. I mean, it's going to take a bit longer for sure, but... Got to make do, people. Got to make do with what you've got. I do quite like a, um, a fluffy brush to blend out under eyes. It's really soft. I'll just roughly blend it out and then I'll go back in with my foundation brush.
So, foundation's done. Lip um, and concealer. I don't really go too mental. <clears throat> um, I like a little bit of coverage, not too much coverage. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it's so croaky today. It's so annoying. Uh, next, I'm going to go on to... Oh, actually, I'll use a little bit of the um, leftover concealer on the 224 just to blend out on my eyelid. Let's get a little bit of that discoloration gone. All them redness. Them veins be gone. Voila. Finished. Studio Fix Powder, <clears throat> NC25. I'm gonna give a little bit of that and a little bit of a, I think this is a Royal Lang Nickel brush. I can't remember, it's just a flat shader brush. Um, quite a big one. Uh, whack that on my lid. Just to stop that concealer from creasing. I like quite a bright eye. I don't really like to go too heavy on my eyes. I think my eyes are a little bit small, so I think um, anything too much, it just doesn't really suit me. I say that and then I always end up putting loads of eye makeup on. And then I'm just gonna pop a little bit of powder anywhere where there is a little bit of oil, so maybe a little bit on the T-zone and around the nostrils. No one likes a shiny nostril. And a little bit on the chin. So that's all good. And then I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna do a bit of a bronzy contour, not a strong contour. It doesn't, I don't really like a strong contour on me, to be honest. So I'm <clears throat> gonna go in with a Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush um, in the number 127 and it's a Zoeva brush and it's kind of like angled, slightly tapered. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of Give Me Sun by MAC, swirl my thing around and then just use it underneath. <laughs> just use it. Okay, so my boyfriend's trying to get back in the room and he's like climbing over boxes and chairs He's come through the balcony and he's trying to be so quiet. Bless him. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna pop it just um, below my cheekbones, kind of sculpt it out a little bit. Not gonna go too mad. I don't like a really, it's not anything too, too strong. I'm just gonna kind of like buff it upwards, if anything, just to add a bit of color back to the face. <laughs> And I'm going to pop a little bit down the sides of the nose. It's not really to contour, but just to add a little bit of colour. And that, that is smashing. Um, just check it out in the mirror. All good. Um, blush, I love blush. Everyone, like, I've, not everyone, but some people say they're just not into blush. And I'm like, why? It's amazing. I'm going to use Peaches Blush by MAC. Um, super super nice peachy colour and I'm literally just going to pop it on the apples of my cheek and brush it upwards I'd go quite strong with blush so beware but do you know what I love it and I think it looks really pretty obviously if you go a bit too mad you can just go back in with a little bit of a foundation brush just pat that down but I really like that colour I love anything peachy I think it's so pretty I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight now, so I'm gonna use a Doll Beauty highlighter. This is the best highlighter, I swear. Um, and the shade Shine Bright. I like quite a strong highlight, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of hold back. <laughs> I don't want to go too crazy. I'm literally just going for lunch. <clears throat> don't want to blind people. And a little bit on the cheekbone. It's really, really nice. Just gives the skin a really nice glow. And then I'm going to put a little bit on that um, Cupid's bow. It's a bit strong. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a little bit on the nose. Some people don't really like this highlighted nose, but do you know what? I think it's quite cute. Just pat it down a little bit so it's not too mental. And then I'm going to go in with the 221. A bit in the inner corners of the eyeballs. 
and a little bit on the brow bone. So that is it for the skin. That's literally all I'll do. So next is eyes and lips. I need to go get a wipe quickly, so bear with me. Back in the room. <laughs> just gonna take a wipe and just get all the foundation off these lips because they're looking a bit crusty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just gonna chuck on a bit of lip conditioner while I wait. I can't live without this stuff, it's literally insane. Hydrate them bad boys. Gonna curl my lashes. Be careful when you do this, don't be like me and just literally do it without a mirror because <laughs> it's very dangerous. Pick your eye out, but do you know what? I'm just living that life. One done. My lashes are so short and straight, it's literally a joke. I had my lashes done the other day. And I loved them, it was so nice waking up, not having to do anything to your eyes and just looking awake. And they've all come out now. Well, they were irritating my eyes, so I think I was rubbing them a lot and it, they made them fall out. So I need to like, be careful next time I get them done. And I'm gonna use um, mascara, it's um, Extended Play, Perm Me Up Lash, it's one of the new mascara. Um, and it's by MAC, really, really good, um, just to curl the lashes. As you can see, there's no difference there. <laughs> <clears throat> Gonna put on some lashes. These are like kind of fairly natural for me. I know they're not natural for some people. I'm gonna use some 48 lashes by MAC. Um, I haven't worn these in so long, but I've worn them, I've worn these pair, this pair twice, and they're still in good nick, so I'm gonna reuse them again. While that has a minute to dry, I'm just going to literally get a bit of my bronzer on a 217 brush and just pop that in the crease. I think it just gives a little bit of definition to the eye. Do, 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 do. Where is that lash? I'm going to pop this bad boy on. Lashes are on, so I love this little lash applicator, it's really, really good. <clears throat> it looks like this kind of curve. You can kind of go ahead and pinch your lashes together after, um, your natural lashes and your false lashes, so you can't see them underneath, um, it's quite handy. Especially for someone like me with super straight lashes, they always stick down and you can really see them. So it's quite handy just being able to stick them together slightly. So that's done. Look all right to me, they feel comfortable. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to go on to lips. So, I've already put lip conditioner on, so I'm just going to rub that in a little bit. Going to go ahead and use what pencil shall I use? I think I'm going to use Boldly Bare. Really like this pencil. Sharpen it. I'm using a Morphe sharpener. It's the best sharpener. It gets them super sharp. Moving on to the lips. So I'm just going to line the lips. Use a mirror down here. Look down.
Um, then I'm going to go ahead and use a um, retro matte lip colour and this is in the shade Lady Be Good. It's really really good because um, it dries matte and it does last all day, it's really handy. Fabulous. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to put a little bit of lip conditioner back on to give it a little bit of a glow. <clears throat> and at the end, when I'm like nearly finished, I just kind of go over it any bit so I want to add a little bit of anything to. So it's a little bit powder under the eyes slightly. On the chin. I'm going to take that same brush that I used earlier. No, sorry, a different brush. Um, it's the two, oh, I can never, it's a MAC brush. I think it's a 239, it's rubbed off, but I think that's what, it's just a small flat shader brush. Um, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Give Me Sun bronzer and I'm literally just gonna put that underneath my eyes slightly. Just, again, a little bit of definition, a little bit of something, something. Fabulous. And then again, a tiny bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't like putting a lot of mascara on my bottom lashes because I swear to God, I've tried every mascara and they all imprint. <clears throat> and then back in with the lip condition. So this is the final look. As you can see, it's quite a natural, glowy makeup look with a bit of lash, um, great for every day or just like if you want to go a bit casual in the evening. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was nothing crazy, but I um, thought I'd just start off quite simple. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. And please subscribe, like, comment and all of that jazz. And I'll see you soon.